Is it safe? Yeah, these guys will be busy for at least three minutes. Hey, I've been thinking. Like, what will we do when they find out that they don't need to bring us to the lab anymore? Huh? You know, the rebrand. Sensory lab. Interactive screens? Um... Well, the guys upstairs want a rebrand. And they want to use lots of interactive screens. Not good. Ah, uh, no, not good. Yeah. Somebody hired these guys to do a bit of thinking about the store, but they were all full of big ideas and were like, we're architects and we think what you should do is redo the whole store because it's in this prime location, but entry along Little Collins is unclear and nobody knows the food hall exists because you can't see from the ground floor. So instead they were like, why don't you think about this as a whole new flagship concept store between David Jones and St. Ali? Draw it for me. Okay, so the architects were like, we reckon you should transform the ground floor into a new kind of laneway. You should get rid of the stairs and instead make this big long ramp from Little Collins to Burke Street. And from this laneway, we reckon you should like redesign the whole experience of shopping. Because people are now like so stressed when they have to go shopping because they don't know what's available, they can't find what they want, and there's all these people watching you. Yeah. So... Oh, so they're like, let's mix it up and be like all space age and use lots of interactive screens as this new kind of interface because interactive screens are like where it's at. Imagine if you could enjoy a proper coffee while using a screen to browse for the new look you wanted to try on. You could select the ones you liked or even sync your favourites from your iPhone and then the staff could organise it for you, deliver it to a change room and when you're done, you could go and try it on. That's not that interesting. I know, right? But then they were like, or maybe, imagine if you're just there for coffee. You could get advice on the beans, indicate what temperature you wanted it at, and then you were also kind of hungry, so you browse the menu from the food hall, and the interface gives you a couple of ideas about what would match really well with the particular coffee you're having. Okay, got it. Then, they went off on this big tangent about how with all this technology, the thing we are often most deprived of is like the reality of experience, to be reminded that we are real. And it was like, Really inspiring. So, they were like, The design should be a full-bodied experience, like good wine or like the full flavor spectrum of coffee. You can't define it in a single way, but it's actually about providing exposure to a maximum of possibilities and all sorts of beautiful nuances. Ooh, la di -da. Yeah, it was that bad. But they couldn't help themselves. They were like, Instead of consistency, why not have concentrations of sensory experience, skins of screens thread through the space that you would interact with, or that might project an image, or that might emanate sounds, screens that you could touch. They might be smooth like the skin of a Neutrogena model, or hairy like the lining of a beautiful coat. In one space, there might be the smell of baked cookies, in another, the bouquet of Chanel. It's all about the body as the centre of the multi-sensory experience. But I think, what sort it was, that they also had all these ideas about how it would improve the business, streamlining workflow, reducing stock overruns, and increasing profit margin. So what did they say? Oh, they were like, oh, nice project.